Heidi is approaching this new economic environment with a laser focus on efficiency. Her goal, as she puts it, is to support fast decision-making. And if supporting fast decision-making or putting discount controls in place sound like best practices to you regardless of the economic climate, well, you're right. But it's no secret companies have been getting away with a lot more, let's call it looseness in the past few years. So if you have these best practices in theory at your company, it's time to make sure they're actually happening in reality. And in talking to Heidi, it became clear that there are a few different themes for all of us to think about when we're planning for next year. First up, compensation and capacity planning. I am very pleased to announce that we started our FY24 planning in Q3, which Congrats. is a Congrats. win huge, for huge. all these people. Very, huge. very proud. And part of that is the comp planning and design and the capacity planning. So we all know the goal of sales capacity planning is to map out revenue growth based on estimated sales performance of reps. What's more important now than ever is the model is driven to inform efficient hiring decision in the keyword being efficient right now, because our baseline assumptions change from geos to verticals. Maybe you are well established in a certain geo or vertical in one area, but how if you are lagging in an emerging market or launching something new, then you have to really, really be disciplined with the baseline assumptions that go into each. You can't categorize as freely as we used to in the past. Mm -hmm. So taking that with a fine tooth comb, going through every single one of your assumptions and then comparing it to past performance particularly in the last two years is the only data set I like to look at right now and using that data to inform what we expect in the future. 